You bet we're here today. <laughs> if there's energy in the sky worth taking a look at, and I think there is. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the United States. And for those of you in Australia and Europe and Russia and China and everywhere else, <laughs> we'll still look at the energy up above for today because the moon has moved into Capricorn. Ah, you know, that's just, and I'm not, look, I'm not disting Capricorn at all. It's just that you go from that sparky Sagittarian energy to that uh, more diligent, let's get it done type energy. So this would be a good day, I guess, to cook a turkey properly. And all you, all you Capricorns are probably chuckling as well. So yeah, the moon is, has slid into Capricorn. And there's another little interesting aspect. We'll keep it short today. But Uranus is in a trine with all this energy that's kind of stacking up right there at the cusp between Sagittarius and Capricorn. It's kind of like a kind of like a turnstile at the uh, gate of the of an Elton John farewell concert. There's a stack up. So Venus has already gotten through the turnstile. It's in Capricorn already. The moon has just moved in. And now Jupiter is sitting at 29 degrees Sagittarius. So it's trying to get through the, the door, the gate. It will on Tuesday. And that will basically move the current stack into Capricorn. We're getting ready for this January 12, 2020 big, and I don't know that, you know, again, I've said, I don't know that that day is going to mean anything, but we're going to keep our eye on it as Saturn and Pluto align in conjunction on that day, and they will have the Sun and Mercury in the party as well. So yeah, if things just kind of get a little more serious and somber and focused and attentive, well, then that's where the energy is for sure. And this Uranus trine is kind of an interesting aspect because Uranus is still in retrograde in Taurus. It will turn direct right before the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in January. But it is trying to the, this is what caught my attention, it's trying to the ascendant as well as Venus, the Moon, and Jupiter. So, you know, families are getting together. Uranus can throw curveballs. <laughs> It is a trine, so it is a good, favorable, easy aspect. Uh, but, you know, it is Thanksgiving and families do get together. So I'm just saying, watch for the hooks. Watch for little old Uranus to surprise you this Thanksgiving weekend. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow for Black Friday.